Welcome to Classic Banjo Lessons with Aaron Jonah Lewis, Episode 3, Tuning the Banjo. Okay, now, you may or may not have gotten this book yet. If you haven't, it's no big deal. But if you have, we're going to look at page 6 because there's a nice explanation about tuning the banjo. I'll just tell you, if you're used to playing bluegrass banjo or, or a claw hammer in open G, it would sound like this. Classic banjo is almost the same for standard classic banjo tuning. Sometimes we have the same tuning and we call it raised bass because we have the bass tuned up to D. Most of the material is written for from low to high C, G, B, D, G. So let's just go ahead and start with the lowest string, which is the fourth string. And that's going to be C3. When I'm not around a piano, I use an app called Tiny Piano that does what a piano does. So you learn not just what the note sounds like, but where it is on the piano. That's C3, so it should sound like that. Now let's say it doesn't sound like that. How can you tell whether it needs to go up or down? I would sit at the piano or with the app and say, okay, is that higher or lower? And my ear tells me it's lower, but if you're not sure, then just turn it either way. Is that getting closer to it? No, that's getting farther away. So to the other direction. How about that? Is that right? Now it's too high, so I'm going to turn it back down. This process may take a while at first, but don't be discouraged. The more time you spend practicing tuning, the better um, your ear becomes. You, you're, you're teaching your ear how to hear when a note is in tune. So don't be discouraged and don't, don't worry if it takes a long time. Just, just pay attention and see. Let's, let's move on to the third string now. This should sound like uh, G3, which is right here. Okay, so I'm, okay, I'm already in tune, but just to demonstrate, let's say I'm over here. Is that, is that too high or too low? I can tell it's not the right note. It doesn't match. So let's see if I go higher. No, that's further away than where I want to be. So I'm going to go lower. Good. Next note is B. Um, on the piano, it's right here. It's B3. And then the first string is D4. Fifth string, G4. Okay, in a minute, I'm going to just show you, I'm just going to play the notes to tune to so that you can actually tune to this video if you like. 
But first, I'm going to show you some things I do to make sure that I'm in tune with myself because the piano is tuned to um, uh, tempered pitch. So that means it's in tune with itself in a very particular way. And the banjo, we can get it in tune with itself in an even more precise way. So let's say we have, we're going to have our low note be the bass note, the, the note that we're uh, basing our tuning off of. This right here is <laughs> a fifth, which is a perfect interval, so you can really listen for... You can really hear when it's perfectly in tune with itself. Now, these next two strings, third and second string, that's a third, which is a consonant interval, doesn't give you the same amount of precision. So, I turn this into a fifth by playing the third fret, and that's flat. You can hear second string is flat. So there you go, that's perfect. Now this is a unison, the same uh, third fret on the second string is unison with the first string. Unison meaning the same note, so you can really hear if there's any kind of discrepancy. Can you hear that? First string is flat. When it's in tune, it'll sound like the same note. It's just perfect. And then we have an octave between the third string and the fifth string. So it's similar to a unison because it's the same note, it's just a different level of the same note. So it's easy to hear that the fifth string is flat. Once I've done that, I will play a C chord. Sounds like... See, this is also a fifth. Right? I made the fifth string too sharp. Often when you get your strings all in tune, you have to retune them because uh, when you adjust one string, that affects all the other strings. This is uh, getting into kind of minute detail, but it's a great opportunity to train your ear. That sounds better. Now let's... Okay. That's a good C chord. Then sometimes just to see how everything else is working, I will check the... Uh, some other random chords like A flat. Sounds good. How about E flat? Okay. Um, another topic that I'd like to cover is uh, intonation, and that has to do with your bridge position. When you find the right position for your bridge, your um, your harmonic and fingered note at the 17th fret will match. I learned this from Sam Guthridge and it's really been helpful. Uh, um, I checked the fifth string, the, and sorry, the third string and the first string. Uh, and if it needed adjusting, let's say the uh, harmonic was too, was sharper than the fingered note, then I would move it, uh, wait, the finger note was sharper, then I would move the bridge back just a tiny bit. But generally, once you find the right spot, it should stay there, and if you're losing intonation, it's probably because your strings need to be changed. Okay, we've made it to nearly the end of the video, and I'm just going to play each string for you one at a time 
so that you can tune to this video. And I hope that makes things a little easier. I'll show you once again on the piano. Fourth string, C3. Third string, G3. Second string, B3. First string, D4. And fifth string, G4. It's a reference point, but to really fine tune it, you wanna to tune to yourself. So if you wanna to tune to me, I will play, starting now, the five strings of the banjo for tuning purposes. Fourth string, C3. Third string, G3. Second string, B3. string D4 <laughs> and fifth string G4 <laughs> with your third string and that forms a fifth a third string and first string this has been classic banjo lessons with Aaron Jonah Lewis episode 3 tuning thank you